In this video, we will be discussing the advantage of using test generators to closely mirror the data that you have in production. Testing is a crucial step in development and maintenance of any system, and Salesforce is no exception. One of the key benefits of using test data based on your production data is that it helps you identify and fix bugs and errors that might not be caught by using randomly created data. You also likely come across the difficult situation of not having that much data to test with in sandbox environments and having to manually create records yourself. Data generators will be a great help to you in those situations. With just a few clicks, you can create test data that is tailored to your specific needs and use cases without the need for manual data entry or data manipulation. Let's take a look at an example using this tool by Makaru. For this example situation, we're going to say that we are a travel agency. And this travel agency is creating an automation that looks at the airports that certain individuals are flying out of. So Mockery lets you add different types of data that you can then format into either a CSV or these different options as well. But for this scenario, we're just going to format as CSV so we can utilize either data import wizard or data loader. Now I've included the types first name, last name, email address, the airport code, the airport country code, and the airport name. But let's say for this automation, it's important to know the time zone of the individual who is flying out from this airport. So we can add another field, select type, and you can see this tool Makru gives out a bunch of different types of fields based on industry. We're going to go over to travel, and you can see where I pulled airport code and some of the airport information. But if we click into location, you can see that is where the time zone type data exists. So we're going to click on time zone and then rename the field name. And then we have a couple of other options before we go ahead and download this data. One is you can decide how much of the data that you would like blank for these particular types of fields. So let's say for airport country code, we're going to make it so 20% are blank. Then you also have the option of utilizing formulas to tailor the data to even more meet your business's needs. So the example that they give here is uh, you can add one to the value of this field. So say it's a phone number field, you could add one to either the end of it or the start of it. You can also make certain types of data uppercase, and then you can also do custom logic. And then below here, they have all their formula references. Now that we have all the fields that we want to test this automation, let's look at the number of rows that we want to utilize. So for this example, let's say that we want to generate a decent amount of data. Let's go ahead and do 20 rows. Next, I am going to download the data and it has created a CSV for me. Let's put the CSV into a Google Sheet and see what it looks like. So we're starting with a blank sheet here and let's select file, import, upload, and drag in the CSV. We're going to insert a new sheet, import data, and there you go. Now we have 20 unique rows of data that we can upload into Salesforce either through data import wizard or data loader. You can see here in the column for airport country code, it decided to leave out 20% of the country codes. For the examples, you can see that it's pulling email addresses of some real life companies, as well as some real airports, and then real time zones as well. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you'd like to watch more Salesforce training videos, click on the playlist on the left of the page. You're also welcome to watch our latest upload on the right. Make sure to subscribe by clicking in the middle of the page to be notified when we post more Salesforce content, and it would mean a lot if you could like this video as well.